welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves us with a true agape love. He wants to fill our heart and fill our mind with the knowledge of his will. He wants to give us wisdom and spiritual understanding. In all our ways, all we have to do in this life is acknowledge God. I, I mean this with all my heart. And, and I don't mean you're staring at the sky, looking up at the sky, walking into things, falling into oceans, and driving your cars off cliffs. I mean that he's with us and to us. He's in us and with us wherever we go. He is the strength of our life. The Lord is our habitation day and night. With every breath we breathe, the Lord is there. He's there. He knows you. He's with you. He hears your thoughts. He knows your words before they ever come out of your mouth. And I just want us to so embrace the knowledge that God is here. He is with us. He's made a promise that he would never leave, not forsake us. Jesus said, I'll be with you all the way to the end. That's what he said. This is a promise of God. He's delivered us from all the fears and the cares of this world, of this life without God. The world and all the people in it who have not said yes to Jesus Christ being the Son of God, come save me, <laughs> who have not given their lives to him, they're really walking breathing and living a life separated from the one that created them. God created them. And he created, I mean, he created you and me, all of us. If we say yes to God, we end up so close to God. We don't have to walk around feeling like I'm alone in this situation. God is there. If sin has pressured you into its clutches, we we don't we can resist sin by the power of God, by the knowledge of him. See, God wants to pour his wisdom and his knowledge into us. He wants to give it to us. All we have to do is come and sit down. I like to call the Bible the table that God has set before us. He has set a table before us in the presence of our enemies. And this table gives us all we need for life. Life and godliness. To be able to live a holy and fruitful life in the presence of God. He has put this table before us. This word is our life. When we were born into this world, we were, we, words were spoken to us. Words that our grandparents spoke or didn't speak, words that our parents spoke or didn't speak, and, and, and yet we are in a spiritual world. All human beings are living on a planet surrounded by spiritual, by the spiritual. Because see, God is spirit, isn't he? And all the universe, all the things that I mean that we don't see, the beings that we cannot see with our physical eyes, they're they're out there. The devil comes and he influences our mind. We're walking on this planet minding our own business, so to speak. And, and bad ideas I like how somebody said it. I don't know who said it. Bad ideas come from the devil. Now, I don't blame everything on the devil, believe me. A life without God, without knowing him and knowing the Son, equals a life of ignorance. It's a life of ignorance. We need to know God's will for our lives. We need to know that God is for us. And the words that he speaks that would strengthen us, that would cancel out all the works, all the assignments of the enemy. The Lord has set us free. He set us free. Everyone who said yes, Jesus Christ is the Son of God who died and rose again. Everyone who believes on the one that God has sent, 
and has said, yes, I want him to be Lord of my life. They've been, they've, you've stepped into everlasting life. You've stepped into a place where you're not supposed to be shaken and you're not moved by the things that are coming into the world. Your heart and your mind, they're steadfast toward God. He's your keeper. See, I need my spirit to agree. I mean, I need my, I, I need my mind to lay down and agree with my spirit. My spirit already agrees with God. God is God. And he sent his spirit into my heart. He sent his spirit into our hearts so that we could be made, transformed into the image of the Son. Jesus went all the way to the cross and he did not put his finger toward God and say, how could you? You failed me. Hmm? He didn't look at the people and tell them, Raka, you stupid fools. But he said to the Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. In into your hands, Father, I give you me here. All the way to death. Jesus agreed with the Father. And don't give me that stuff that, oh, I'm not Jesus. I don't want to hear that. If we have said yes to the Son, the very expression of God, and He is the Lord of our lives, we are His. We are becoming like the Son. We have set our heart on the Lord. We have set our heart on the Lord. I had a break for just a minute. My granddaughter was in for a biopsy and she, they, they did it pretty quick. She said everything went great. So she's on rest. Make sure you put her in your prayers for me. But God is good and he's faithful to honor his word for us. He has delivered us from the bondage and the afflictions that sin has brought into our lives. We're no longer controlled by the spirit of sin. I've got to say that. I've got to say it just like that. The nature of sin is in the devil. And everyone who lives a life without God lives under that spirit and the words that that father speaks they're in us and and they're working on us <laughs> it is it, hard to get out of it but the word of god has delivered us from all the strongholds that come with the words that were spoken into our lives before we were born He's delivered us. He's delivered us from fear, from lack, from every dysfunction of life. We have, we have been made free by Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Now this word has to come into place. This word has to come into, into place. The word that God has spoken into our hearts must be lifted higher than the feelings we have in this life. God honors his word above his name. He's given us his name. And we have confidence in his name. I stand on the word of truth that brings me into this abundant life God has for us. Why? <laughs> It's not because I'm looking for riches untold in this world. I'm not. Whatever he gives me in this life is for the benefit of the kingdom of God and Jesus Christ, our Lord. It's, it's for him. The Lord really loves us. Make your... Make your mind <laughs> submit to this word. Come to the table that the Lord has set before us and let that word fill us up. Let it fill your heart. Let it fill your ears. This way we can delight ourselves in the Lord. 
In this way, we are delighting ourselves in the Lord, not just going through the motions while the pain is so intense. I'm, I'm talking about a mental pain. I'm talking about anguish. I'm talking about the body trying to go in one direction and, and you wanting to go in another direction. If we submit to the word now, we'll have the weapons we need to tear down the strongholds that try to come back up in our minds, that try to take hold of us and turn us in another direction. God has not given us a spirit of fear. He has not given us a spirit of lust. He's not given us a spirit of lack. He's not given us a spirit of pride. But he's given us the spirit of life, the spirit of truth, his spirit. He has poured into us and his spirit pours love into our heart. Now I love I love love because it's a, a weapon of mass destruction. It demolishes strongholds. We just think of love as some mushy gushy thing that the flesh has brought about brought about, like some phileo kind of love, friendship kind of love. But we're talking about an agape love. Jesus went to die for us. Jesus went all the way to death for the whole entire world. He took on sin. But it couldn't have him. He took the penalty for all the world's sins. Everything that we could ever think, imagine, or do. Jesus took all of that mess onto his body. And he left it there at the cross and went beyond the cross. He took us with him. He took us with him. If we will just allow our heart and mind to be crucified. It's what's in us that need that we need to be delivered from. Hmm? And Jesus did all the work that needed to be done. If we would just come here and sit in this word and let the word fill up our hearts. To be spiritually minded is life and peace. But it only comes because we have decided to follow Jesus. We've decided that we believe the Lord. We trust, we trust the Holy Spirit. We believe the Lord. We cry out to him for everything. He knows how hard it is. He knows the ache, the pain. That He knows the heartache. Cast every care before him. I couldn't talk to you about this unless I had been through the same thing myself in fact i'm in it I, I can't wait for relief but relief comes because we trust him we're not leaning on how we feel about this day or tomorrow or the next day we're leaning on the lord he is our refuge and strength he's the present help and he does help he honors his word above his name that's why we've got to get the word in our face We've got to eat and drink him. What he said is what he said that is everything for us. We don't even have life. Everyone that's walking, driving, riding their bike, running up and down, playing basketball on the court, wherever anybody is, they were created by God and for God, even if they don't make a decision for Christ. Even if they don't want him. Everybody was created by God. Their breath will be going back to him. Even if they don't choose him. Because he's already made a place for the believers and the unbelievers. There's a place for the unbelievers. It's called the lake of fire, the great throne of judgment. You don't want to be there. We don't want to be there. Hmm? I'm sure of this. I'm in God. I'm in Christ. You are in Christ, in God. You're hid in Him. But I want the power of the highest to be working in us and through us. The Lord is the strength of your life today. Don't fret anyone or anything. Don't fret it. Don't sweat it. Take this soul of yours and submit it to the one who truly 
loves you <laughs> and will keep your heart and mind. If we keep our minds, our thoughts on the Lord, we will not be wearied in our minds about the things that happen in life. Miracles, signs, and wonders are our life. And the more we release ourselves to the will of God, the more we, the more that we give our mind to the word of God, the more we're going to have mastery over how we feel today, over what things look like when it seems like it's a surprise to everybody else. It won't be a surprise to you because your strength is in the Lord. You're anchored in him. You've trained your thoughts, your desires, your to, to come here and sit down and reason with what God said and to take what God said. We begin to spiritually speak like Jesus. My words are spirit and they are life. That's what our words would be. We need to agree with our spirit, which means submitting our heart and mind to the Lord, trusting in him at all times, pouring out our heart before him and lifting up the standard that he that we hear we hear God's standard we hear his words speak life we curse what we need to curse but we're not cursing people we're telling the enemy no we're using the weapons of warfare which are words of faith toward God see we're overcoming the enemy by the blood that he's poured out for us. The blood of the Lamb is sanctified, is separated, is brought us into the very house of God. It's destroyed the works of the, the enemy. It's dismantled him. Actually, that's the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We've become the righteousness of God because we believe what the blood has done for us. We've been saved by this blood. We are the redeemed of the Lord. And no one can pluck us out of his hand. God is living. And he's active. And he sent his son so that we could come and live in the son. So that we could come and live through Christ and what he's done for us. Don't allow yourself to be weary. Don't, don't fret. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Because it's him who pours the wisdom and the knowledge out. It's him who gives us wisdom and spiritual understanding. He loves you. He's not going to leave you. And he's not going to let you be surprised by the things that happen in this life. Because we know him. He made a promise. And I've never known him to not keep his promises. Don't let your feelings override you. No matter what happens in this world or in your personal life, listen for the Lord because he's put his word in your heart and in your mind. And that word will keep your heart and mind unto the day of Jesus Christ. All we have to do is keep working this salvation. You're in it. <laughs> now just learn how to live in it. Learn how to walk in it. Learn how to work in it. Learn how to lay down and go to sleep in it. You are in a salvation. You're in God. You're in Christ in God. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson at Get the Word in Your Face International. Get the Word in Your Face. And go beyond the cross. It's time to get up. It's time to wake up. It's time to go beyond the cross. Love God because he truly loves you.